you know, this peeling the eggs thing, it just, it just don't work very well. I got an idea. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Let's do the Instapot like the wife suggested. So rudely, geez. We got our farm fresh butt nuggets. We got our Instapot, eight quart. Let's do her. All right, for those of you who have not used an Instapot or for those of you who have not cooked eggs in an Instapot, first you're going to push, where is it at? pressure cook it's already set for five minutes so you want to do five minutes of cook five minutes of natural release then you're gonna instant release it and then you're gonna put it in an ice bath for five minutes so it's a 15 minute cooking process total from start to finish or a five minute cooking process five minutes to cool or release pressure and then five minutes on ice before you can handle them because they are going to come out piping hot so once this comes up to temperature it'll start the time five minute countdown and then we will go from there so we will see you shortly you ready for this pressure Whoa. don't look any different what happened here comes the fun part ah. don't 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 do this at home this is dumb I am dumb it's okay don't have much feeling in my hand anyway Okay, we're gonna let them sit in the bath for a few minutes and we'll get to cracking. What do you say? Y'all ready to crack some eggs? Let's do it. Look at that. It's that easy. Seriously, picked from the freaking chicken coop today. They peel that easy. Just get it started under that membrane and it just comes right off. Dip it in the water, get the uh, remaining little tiny pieces of shells off. Perfect, no problem, sake. Very much needed. Yep, that's an older egg, and it broke. It's okay, it's okay. We'll feed it right back to the chickens after we grind it up and dry it. Protein, calcium, good for egg production. And we have one bird that lays really awful eggs. There we go. And we haven't figured out who it was yet, but it's this one right here that just lays the awfulest eggs so I'll set that aside we'll eat that don't worry most of them peel just like that I mean you can pick them right out of the chicken coop no way no need to let them sit in the fridge for a week like traditional store-bought eggs none of that straight from the butt to the table farm fresh butt nuggets we love them 
won't ever buy store-bought eggs again. Our Americanas lay the best eggs. They're these robin egg blue. Look at how easy those are. What's y'all's favorite egg dish? Hard-boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, eggs benedict, over easy, under easy, sunny side up, sunny side down. Is that a thing? I don't know. You tell me. There's like 16 different ways to cook eggs. Probably more than that. I don't know. I tell you what. Boiling eggs, Instant Pot. Pressure cooker, if you don't have an Instant Pot, is the way to go. Beer break. Oh yeah. One bird that lays really just eggs with really thick membranes and we can't figure out why. What in her diet is doing that? It makes them absolutely impossible to peel good. There we go. Yeah, a little minor imperfection there. It'll be alright. It'll make a good egg. Good eat. Good eat. So the pressure cooker actually helped in the process of our bowling in the way that it creates pressure underneath the shell in between the membrane and the egg. So that way when you go to crack it, you hear a pop. Nah, you didn't really hear it. That one was already cracked. Bad example. But you hear a pop. Kind of sounds like a, a just a little pop. And it really helps to separate the membrane from the egg white itself. And that's how you get that. Perfect. Just crack it a little bit, squeeze it right out. No problem. Now y'all didn't think I was just going to make a video about hard boiling eggs, did you? Come on. We're going to take these delicious eggs and finish off the video right with a little deviled egg. Who likes deviled eggs? I do. I'd live on them. If I could steak, potatoes, deviled egg. Three food groups I could not live without. If they're, I don't even know. But, we're gonna cut these up and we'll come back to you here shortly. It's In the back. Hey, y'all ready to see the world's best deviled eggs? Let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna have my wife hold the camera here, and I'm gonna show you and have you mix, have a mix up and get it all going. So in this bottle, I've got cayenne pepper. A lot of people use paprika as their garnish. I like cayenne because I like to spice it up a little bit. Uh, just some regular mayo, no Miracle Whip for you freak shows. Famous Dave's Devil's Spit Pickle Chips. We're going to make some magic with that here in a second. And then just some regular old yellow mustard. Uh, don't forget some good old fashioned bacon. I mean, who doesn't like bacon? Come on now. Mm. Now, what would I do with a pair of scissors and a bag? Let me show you. Right here, we've got the edge flipped up. We're just gonna snip that right off there. So we've got the end snipped off there. Now, we're gonna use this as just a simple, simple, simple piping bag. No, 
Now what better way to top your eggs, deviled, that is, special deviled eggs on top of that with a little devil spit. What better way to top your eggs than maybe just a little touch of bacon? Who doesn't like bacon? You just take one little chunk of bacon in each egg. And for the final, final touch, just a little dash of cayenne. And that'll do it, folks. So, let's dig in. Cheers. Mm. Man, y'all have got to try these. If you have chickens and don't know what to do with your eggs and are tired of just eating eggs any other ordinary way, you have got to try the butcher's favorite blend, eggs. Hands down, it's a party pleaser. Get at me now.